Hi, welcome to Bar Cart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about He Who Drowned the World by Shelley Parker Chan. He Who Drowned the World is the second concluding volume in the Radiant Emperor duology. It follows She Who Became the Sun, which we discussed two years ago, this very week two years ago, and is the story of the last days of the Yuan dynasty in China and the beginning of the Ming dynasty. It's an alternate history that plays with the elements of the speculative, uh, all the more so here in book two, with more visions of ghosts and more uses of the divine light of the mandate of heaven. Um, but is alternate in some more significant ways as well. It is a deep exploration of constructions of gender within a society, within a self, and just really powerful fiction examining power through the lens of the self, the ways in which hurt people hurt people, and the ways in which, uh, with the right circumstances, you can strive to create a different world. Just really a, a remarkable conclusion, and uh, one that I think really answers the questions of the first volume, She Who Became the Sun. Uh, be warned in reading this book, it is a heavy, heavy read. Uh, there is some dark content that's explored as uh, characters engage with the world and with themselves in some really brutal ways, uh, but I think it really has that gravitas that the, the subject matter requires and uh, is dealt with in a very thoughtful um, and, and important way. So um, just be, be aware of that as you're reading. It is not a fun, light, bubbly, easy read like the delightful Market of Dreams and Destiny that we talked about last week. This one is a more than a gut punch. It's a barbed hook, and it sinks into you, and it just rips out. Um, just really remarkable stuff. Um, and it It's moving. It's a very moving novel. Um, so just be, be aware of all of that. Uh, some really remarkable character pieces. You see the ways in which the failure to communicate uh, spells doom or hope. The ways in which all of our characters are building to the same moments, uh, but in the dark about each other and um, the way it all comes together is just really poignant there. Uh, just powerful, powerful, powerful moments. Just boom, 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 one after the other. So, of course, we had to have a drink inspired by the book. Our drink for book one, She Who Became the Sun, was inspired by Zhu uh, Chongba, now Zhu Yuan Zhang, the titular Radiant Emperor. Uh, our drink for book two, He Who Drowned the World, is the Prince of Henan. It's inspired another mocktail. It's inspired by uh, Wang Bao Zhang, the uh, titular He Who Drowned the World. The um, Prince of Henan, who is the son, uh, the brother of Essen Temer, who uh, was a, a main character in book one. He's this sort of delicate, um, he doesn't perform the masculinity of the Yuan dynasty. He's um, feminine, he's effete, he's scholarly, he's um, vicious and furious and filled with bile and rage, and it is understandable in the way that he has 
been harmed by the systems around him. And it is, it is unfortunate that he is never previously in his life afforded the kindness and the opportunity to understand the world in different ways that uh, Zhu has. And just a really, um, a powerful character. And uh, one who is regarded with a, um, a microscope, a scalpel, uh, all the flensing tools he's really dug into in this book in a way that um, captured my attention. So, without any further ado, why don't we turn to our drink. We're going to get one ounce of peach shrub. This, that's that peach syrup that's made with vinegar. And it's going to have the sweetness of the peach. It's going to have the bite of the apple cider vinegar. Uh, a real bitten peach sort of option there for you. And we're going to get one ounce of that down into our shaker. I'm going to get half an ounce of lime juice to brighten things up, really keep that zing going, and then half an ounce of molasses syrup to bring that element of, sort of bitter darkness. Wang Baozhang has the mandate of heaven, as does Zhu, but where hers manifests as this glowing white flame, his is a black fire, a consuming furious fire. And so we're going to get half an ounce of that really dark uh, sweetener down into our mixing glass. I'm going to get four dashes of black walnut bitters. These are the Fee Brothers bitters. They're made with glycerin instead of alcohol as their base. Really good for all sorts of mocktail applications. And we're going to set this aside for just a sec because we have here a little tray with some salt. And we're going to prepare our cup by rimming it with the salt. And you're getting a real complex range of flavors. The way I like to rim is getting a damp paper towel and just running that along the edge of the glass. It helps the salt to adhere to it, and it makes it a little bit easier than um, when you try it with like a, a lime peel or something like that. You really just, you have a lot more control over how much moisture you get on there. Beautiful. And there you go. A nice rim of kosher salt on the edge of our glass. You can set that aside, set our cup aside and add our ice to the shaker. Tap that on there, shake it up like that. strainer and strain into our prepared cup. Lovely. And so there you have it. That's the Prince of Henan, a mocktail inspired by Wang Baozhang and He Who Drowned the World. He Who Drowned the World by Shelley Parker Chan is available now. It's a really remarkable book. Just uh, a great bookend to the first volume. They work together as a matched pair in, in beautiful ways. Uh, it reminded me of Ken Liu's The Grace of Kings, uh, sort of similar books, similar ideas with very different applications. And uh, it reminded me of the sort of pain of masculinity that we've seen before here on Bar Car Bookshelf, like with Lee Mandela's Summer Sons. So lots of really interesting ideas that we've explored before and some really fresh new 
sort of hurts, all hurt, no comfort, <laughs> a little comfort uh, in this one. And we've got a link to snag that book down below. We've got links to various forms of social media, including Twitter and Instagram, where there's always a written version of today's recipe. Try the drink. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you've read the Radiant Emperor duology, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments as well. Just really powerful, powerful books. Uh, highly recommend. Hit that like button. It makes me so happy when you hit the like button. I love it, I love it, I love it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video and this review with your friends. Um, really helps us to find new audiences. And until next time, cheers.